Hi, this is Linda with Traveling Flamingo. We had heard lots of things about Carnival Cruises, and most of them were not that great, so we really wanted to try them out for ourselves. We've sailed with Princess, NCL, Royal, and Celebrity Cruises, and we were really interested to see how different it would be. So, we've made a top 10 list of things that really surprised us about Carnival Cruises. All that and more, coming right up. So let's just jump right into this. The first thing that surprised us was the food. We sailed on the Carnival Mardi Gras and did a lot of research about the restaurants before we sailed and created a plan to try as many as possible. Our plan might have included having two lunches on some days, but I was okay with that. I was happily surprised with the amount of included food options and how good they were. Our favorite were the smaller counter service restaurants that made the food to order like Shaq's Chicken and Guy's Burger Joint, as well as the Sandwich Place and Chebang. They were delicious. On the other side, we did find that in the main dining room and a couple of the other restaurants that were a bit bigger, that I'm not sure if they didn't have enough staff, but you could tell the food had been sitting around for a little bit. It just wasn't quite as fresh and hot, but definitely those quick counter services were amazing. I think we tried like almost all but two of the 24 some odd restaurants. It was amazing. The next thing that surprised us was the Havana. We booked last minute and this was my sister's first cruise, so we really wanted a balcony. The only balconies that were left were the Havana ones. I didn't love the idea of having a pathway at the end of our balcony and not being right over the water. I also wondered about the privacy. We were so impressed. The size of the balcony and having a full lounger was my sister's favorite. And because only a Havana guest had access to the pathway, we didn't actually have that many people pass by us while we were outside. The private bar area was great. We enjoyed the shade, water, and just a quiet place to relax. If you want to know more about the Havana, be sure to subscribe as we're going to be having a room tour coming out soon. Another thing that surprised us was how good the app was, especially at mealtimes. Most cruise lines have an app that you download before you sail. Then when you're on the ship's Wi-Fi, you can get information about events, store hours, and what restaurants are open. Carnival took it a step farther and allows passengers to check in for meals from anywhere on the ship. They actually really encourage you to do it to avoid crowded waiting areas. As we were getting ready for dinner in our stateroom, we would check out the wait times on the app and check in for dinner, or while we were sitting in the lounge, and then we would get a notification that our table was ready and that we had 10 minutes to get there. And then we'd walk right up to the dining room. It was great. This is also great for those sea day brunches, which are super popular, that you could just check in beforehand in your room and head on down when your table was ready. I found it really took away the stress of trying to make reservations, especially if you had a bigger party. The fourth thing that really surprised us was the internet. There are a variety of different packages you can choose from, which is nice if you only want to text. Aaron was not able to sail with us, so we got the top level internet package, which actually said you could stream TV shows. It was better than most on social media, and I was actually able to FaceTime Aaron with no issues. I was shocked there was no problem with the video. We could hear each other clearly. It was great. Definitely a good option if you're wanting to connect with family. We are now halfway through and on to our fifth one. What we found surprised us was how amazing the cruise director was. We had the Flying Scotsman, and I have never had a cruise director be so entertaining. At the 80s dance party, he had so much energy and was actually singing every song. He hosted a lot of great events like Family Feud. He was hilarious, and I was really impressed with his level of energy and how he could sustain that for the entire cruise. This takes us to the next point. The pool decks parties are next level. The 80s party was so much fun. Guests actually bought costumes to wear and staff looked amazing. It was really a blast from the past. It was less rowdy and more of like a sing-along. People and families of all ages were having a great time. So if after all the excitement of the long day, you're able to stay up late enough for the party, we definitely recommend checking it out. My sister also loved that they were handing out glow sticks. Even as adults, we still love free glow sticks. On to the seventh thing that surprised us. Before we sailed with Carnival, some other people warned us that it's all about the parties, it's going to be rowdy, be prepared. 
Honestly, we didn't find it that way at all. There's so much that you can do that if you don't want to be at the party, you don't have to. There's live music, there's mini putt, karaoke, or you could just relax in your room. Don't get me wrong, there were parties, and we saw some of them, but if you don't feel like partying, you don't have to, and there's lots of other entertainment. We even did line dancing in the Havana bar. It was hilarious. The next thing that takes us back to the app was when checking in for dinner, you can decide if you want to dine on your own or with others. This is a nice option as sometimes you're just looking for a quiet night while other times it's nice to meet other people. Some people cruise specifically to meet people and make lifelong friends and being able to dine with others is a great way to connect. So make sure you're on the lookout for that in the app. The ninth thing that surprised us was how amazing the activities were in the ultimate playground. We found ourselves here at all different times of the day enjoying the activities. We played mini putt after dinner under the stars. We challenged each other to foosball in the afternoon and we tried the ropes course. It was fun to do that together as it was terrifying. I do not love heights and it was a challenge. A lot of the activities are included. The only one which cost money was the roller coaster and I would definitely recommend trying it. My sister was worried we would be bored on a cruise as she'd never done one before, but that was definitely not an issue with the ultimate playground. Okay, and finally, on to the 10th thing that really surprised us about our Carnival Cruise was how amazing the chef dinner was. With the restrictions, we couldn't go into the galley, which I was hoping we'd be able to, but they set it up really well. We went to the coastal kitchen, where they had the chef that walked us through our entire dinner, telling us details about how the dishes were cooked. There was a bunch of other chefs there helping make the plates. Drinks were included, and one of the crew members came and did magic. We got to meet some of the other guests and had an awesome time sharing this experience all together. It was the most expensive specialty restaurant, but it was a really great experience, and I would definitely do that again. So there you have it. Those were the top 10 things that surprised us about our Carnival cruise. Have you ever sailed with Carnival? What was your experience like? Let us know in the comments below. We love to hear your ideas and opinions. Also, we have some fun t-shirts on our website, like the Good Vibes and High Tides one, which would make a really fun family trip shirt. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video, and we hope that you got some insight into what it's like to cruise with Carnival. Remember, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again for watching, and happy travels. Gotcha.